Hello, I'm leaving and today I'll be putting away some photo cards I have. Um, I really only collect two groups, a uh, Zero Base One and Ive, so that'll basically just be all the photo cards for today. Um, I have all of these to put away and then this little container as well. Um, I'm a bit nervous because I haven't done a video like this before and also because it is currently 10 17 p.m on the school night tomorrow i have school maybe not the best idea this will also be a little bit asmr like i guess because my parents are asleep and i don't want to get in trouble and if the video suddenly goes on mute it's because i got yelled at <laughs> um but yeah i have these two binders and then i have two more off to the side and then one more so there's a total of five binders that i'm going to be using today um these are for, I only collect um, Hanbin and Yujin from Zero Base One, and then like I collect all of their album photo cards, some miscellaneous merch, and POVs too. And then for I've, I collect some OT6 sets, and then I collect all um, Yujin and Liso album photo cards, and then almost all trying to collect all of ESO's POVs. So that's why I have all these binders. You can probably kind of hear it in my voice that I'm talking in that way, how you talk when you're low-key like really nervous. <laughs> Hopefully it'll get better throughout the video. But um, I was thinking that we could maybe start with I've my Liso and Eugene collection because I only have, I think, two cards to put away from this. So yeah. Um, off to the side, I have all my photo cards, and then I also have, ignore how badly decorated this is, I haven't had time to actually decorate it yet, since I focus so much time on decorating the outside, it's just kind of got, it was like an afterthought, maybe I'll do a video decorating it, or just post a photo once I finish decorating it. Um, here I have my sleeves, these are the Mia Cafe sleeves, I also use their pages. Um, I used the 58 by 89 one and also the 61 by 91, 91 one on top because I like to double sleeve. So let me just see. This is kind of hard because of my nails. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Here is the Lisa photo card I've put away right now. It's going to be terrible. Okay, um, I have another one somewhere here. Hold on, let me go grab it. Okay, so this is the other photo card I have to put away today. Um, this is from their Love Dive album. It's the jewel case version. And then this is the Love Dive version for their I've Mine album. So just like a quick mini flip through, I guess. Um, I have to put... I think with this one, I'm up to date with all my Liso photo cards, but then I'm still missing a couple of regions. I'm trying to tell which one's the bigger size. All right, so. Um, yeah. I try to alternate my binder fillers, but um, maybe don't pay too much attention because I might have not made them like an exact pattern order. So, if you're sensitive to details like that, I apologize. I just kind of tried to match it up to what I thought matched the photo cards the best. And that was kind of my thought process, I guess, behind all of this. I'm not sure what to talk about, <laughs> really. Um, oh, there's something in here. Alright, um, so I asked my mutuals on Instagram to give me some questions, except I kind of didn't take into account the fact that I was going to film this just like an hour after I asked, and so <laughs> I only have like five questions, but we're just going to do them and <laughs> try not to think too much about it. Um, hold on, let me pull them up to the side. To the side, I have my little iPad and... 
my template for the silk since that's the only one that I have like have to figure out how I'm gonna lay out today. We're gonna be putting away my entire Lisa collection up to now because I didn't have the right sleeves because I like to use me on cafe. And so I just sleeve them in like the regular sleeves. And so I'm gonna fix that right now. Also, if you're curious, the way I do my binder for this is um basically I try to do like hold on. Okay, so this is in the wrong order. It's supposed to be, um, alternating versions. Hold on, this might be a struggle. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be the same number on top, and then the, um, versions are just alternating. So, for example, this is black, this is red. So, this one goes here. And then this one goes up here. So then these are the same version and these are the same version. And it just kind of alternates like this one, the leases are on the bottom, this one they're on top. Basically here. Yeah. Sorry for the glare, it's because I have my camera like my light like right up here. Um anyways, moving on. So that was the jewel case one. And then the next one is all the way over here. Oh, here. So this is where oh, I forgot um, for this one. I actually bought the single sided ones and then the double sided pages because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. And so I ended up deciding, just so I didn't have to buy any new pages, to use the double sided ones for my Liso and ZB1 collection. And then for this one, I was just going to use the single sided ones and just shove them in there. But um, yeah, so for Liso, as you can see, I'm up to date until the latest comeback, and then I'm still missing a couple of Eugen ones, but hopefully I'll grab those soon. Oh, anyways, like I said, the questions. <laughs> I'll just pull them up to the side, and then I guess I'll mention them if I can't think of anything to talk about. Okay, so next, I think that we should start with the Zero Base 1 collection. Oh, ignore that on my desk. So, like I said, this one is for Hanbin and Eugene's um, album photo cards and POVs. And then I'm planning on using this little fluffy white binder that's not in frame for their non album stuff. So, I actually also got this. Ooh, again, ignore the fact that it's so plain. <laughs> I'll decorate it too. But this is. Uh, the little binder covers because I was noticing that this binder specifically the pages were starting to bend and I kind of you know it's not the best thing so I decided to um buy these just to make sure that they all stay flat all right so for this one I have a couple of things to put away okay this is gonna be a struggle I think I'm just gonna start leaving this open these are a bunch of Lisa photo cards, but um, I think it's mostly just a melting point that I need to put away today. Okay. I'm just gonna stack these on top of the Lisa's, but um. So this is what I have for Melting Point era, mostly album photo cards, and these are just non-album stuff, like their season screenings, light stick, and then their little decon pop-up thing. So I'm just going to place these up here for now, and then these are the photo cards. I'm going to just separate album versus non-album right there, and then these, I mean, album PCs versus POVs. I'm gonna put the POVs on the side for now and then mini flip through. I have this humpin on the way and then I just kind of want to leave this one blank. Maybe I'll figure out what to put here but um yeah. I have I'm looking for like I forgot what 
store it was but it's like the lucky draw where they do like their little puppy ears i have the hanbin one i'm missing the yujin one but i'm too lazy to buy it so it's just blank because i feel like it would look i feel like it looks cute like that but it would look kind of weird if it was just like the hanbin one and then no yujin one so we're just gonna leave it like that for now oh so i have one already put away it seems and then i have digipack already done but um I forgot the names of these. And this is fairy tale. And then so I'm gonna put these up here. Let me see what pattern I do for this one. I forgot. Oh, it's the same thing. Alternating members. Okay. So then Hanbin goes on the top, right? Yes. Okay. So I only have like for the other non-digipack versions, right now I only have like two for each, like one set for each version because there's two photo cards per member and so I'm missing those but hopefully I'll get them soon I think I have the um dang, what is it? Mystery version? I have no idea what these album names are now that I think about it but um, whatever the whatever this version is the other one for Eugen and so I just need to look for more Hanbin ones to finish up yeah and then so i'm trying to double sleeve here um yeah and so i'm so oh, i realized my filler word is so <laughs> anyways um i'm really excited for their new comeback i'm just like so because ah, they always have such good music you know what i mean and so i'm just really excited to see what they come out with this time i really really liked their last two albums like, they really saved music for me. <laughs> um, I'm not, it's not that I'm really into boy groups, but I don't usually collect boy groups that much. Uh, just because I find myself more drawn to girl groups, because I like, like, that bright sound, you know what I mean? And so when, um, In Bloom came out, I was so obsessed with it. And even though Crush wasn't as, like, bright, I still liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. I especially liked, you know, the B-side Melting Point, that was such a good song. I loved it so much. And I'm excited to see what their next album sounds like. Especially because I really like their Japanese debut, Yura Yura. It was so good. <laughs> Anyways, um, next page. So this one I need to put away. Oh, I need to put away two. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Let's just see for these. I keep on having to like, I'm so used to when I do trades or whatever, I'm used to just doing them face down and like their head is on the bottom because no, like instead of this way with the opening at the top, it's on this side as I close at the top, right? And so, because in my head, I don't know, it's like preventing dust from getting in or whatever and but because i'm double sleeping it has to be the other way around like the top one has to be the one that goes on the bottom and so my <laughs> first instinct is always to put it the other way around and then i just need to correct myself afterwards all right so this one goes in here so cute i'm sorry for the glare hopefully next video i'll fix that up Maybe if I move it more to the side. Okay, that's better. And then, Eugene. I feel like this one matches this one more. Because the other one, he looks kind of like he has like pajamas or something. Like very sleepy. And this hanbin looks like very cuddly. So I think those match better. And finally, this version. I'm not going to even try to pretend like I know what this one's called. I have zero idea. <laughs> this version. Um, Please forgive me. I swear I'm a real zeros. Um, is that how you say that? I feel like, you know how when you're like reading books or whatever, you feel like you know what it, you like totally know what the word is, and then you have to say it out loud and you realize you have no idea if you're saying it the right way. That's me with zeros. Zeros? Z zeros? You know what I mean. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And so I feel like that happens a lot with 
um, idol names too. Like, sometimes I'll kind of butcher the pronunciation, and it's not on purpose, it's just that personally, um, okay, maybe I might sound like a fix fan, but I don't really watch the variety content as much as I, I would like to, because I feel like I just don't have time, <laughs> and it's so sad, but I feel like I don't have enough time to do all of that, and so that's why most of the time I just end up having zero, not zero idea, but like, in like the back of my mind, obviously I know how their names are pronounced because I hear it all the time whenever I watch their videos. But I'm like, it's not 100% certain. And so that always makes me nervous. So if I butcher their names, it wasn't on purpose. Please believe me, I'm not a big fan. I'll probably catch up more with their variety content and everything um, over the summer, hopefully. So these are the POVs I currently have for melting point i think i'm gonna put these two together i also have um it's like this one pov of how i've been holding like a dragon plushie hold on let me see if i can find it oh anyways let me see if i can find it um that one i have the humbin one on the way and also the usual one on the way so that's good because it's a pair and then i'm currently looking for this hanbin so he can match with the yujin i have and then um i recently got this yujin is on the way to my korean address and so i'm looking for the hanbin version of this one as well and then that'll be its own page i think along with dang it, where's the photo <laughs> okay so this is really bad quality because i just like crop some random photo but this photo card, I have it on the way, and I also have Hanbin's version on the way. So I think I want to make those together, because I find them really cute. The little cheek pinch one, and then the little plushy one, I think, are going to be the ones that I put together. Um, actually, I think I'm going to put these two together like these two sets and then i think i'm gonna put this one with the plushie and then this one with a little cheek wrap yeah i think i like that better okay so we're gonna make this the first page this is the bigger sleeve i think it is do you like my press ons i paid way too much money for them just don't look too close or you'll be able to see like the air bubbles from the sticky tab because I don't like wearing nail glue. I feel like they rip off too easily. So I just put on sticky tabs and they're actually surprisingly durable. And then but it's also pretty easy to like rip them off if I really wanted to because nails are so inconvenient for me unless they're like my natural nails. I just I just can't. So I'm probably going to rip these off tomorrow. Um, I put them on yesterday. And then so probably today and then tomorrow I'll put them back and then I'll wear them another day. Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, I really love... Okay, now I'm going to talk about Boys Planet. <laughs> um, you know, like the survival show or whatever. That boy, to your face one. Boys Planet. I watched Girls Planet, right? And then I like personally didn't stand Kepler, even though I really like their music and everything. Because I was like... I don't want to stay in a temporary group, you know, like, I'm just gonna be so sad afterwards when they disband. And so, I didn't want to put myself through that. Because I was the worst one for, like, I'm not even kidding, three months before they disbanded. I got, like, really into this one. And then, when the day came and they disbanded, I was crying like a baby. I was crying so bad. Like, the tears were non-stop. And especially because my biases were Nako and Yujin, like, from Aizen and I've, um, I felt like I was gonna die if they didn't re debut. I was like going crazy, and so I actually was just counting down days every single day until their re debut. And I was also kind of hanging out to my delusion that they'd be able to somehow renew their contract even post the spam it. That never happened. <laughs> um, so because of that, I was so nervous, and I was like, I don't want to stand Kepler. Like, you know, I don't want to put myself through that heartbreak. Only for Boys Planet to start airing. 
and I saw Hanbin's like first um performance and I was so obsessed like I was immediately obsessed with him and then so he became one of my top trainees and so he became my bias obviously once your race one debuted and then Eugene I liked Eugene a lot during Boys Planet but like I only voted for him a couple of times like when it came to one pick or whatever um I kind of alternated between him and like a couple other people but it wasn't like 100% right but then he debuted he debuted and I was so obsessed like he's so adorable like I have no regrets oh my gosh okay so um I'm gonna put these two together now so yeah I'm so grateful every day about um his debut because I remember being so nervous when they were all chanting Eugen, Eugen at the end, like the finale. Because what if Eugen didn't make it? Wouldn't that have been really awkward for him? Like this poor little kid, he just doesn't end up debut after the whole like venue or whatever is cheering his name. But then they did call his name. And so it all worked out. And so now he is my bias. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I can't pick this up. But he's so cute. And also he's just, he's just, have his bubble and everything um but like not gonna lie i haven't used bubble as recently because it takes up a bunch of my storage and i'm still paying for it which is kind of ridiculous i'm still paying for bubble i'll just like oh re-download it like every once in a while to check up on my messages but um yeah love you jin more of the story is i love you jin hope he's always happy so thankful he debuted he debuted debuted not sure about that one either, but I'm so happy that he's in zero base one. I'm so happy everybody's in zero base one, actually. I was so happy with the lineup. Actually, no, I was a little bit sad because of my some of my picks didn't make it. But like, honestly, I couldn't even be mad because the lineup was so good. So I'm actually gonna save this huge in. Mm, actually, no, I'm just putting him in there. I was considering saving him maybe for the next page because I wanted to put him on another page. But it doesn't really make sense to me to just have one photo card on there. But no, I think I'm just going to put him in there for now. Then if anything, I'll reorganize him when I get the other photo cards. So, yeah. Well, the story was then it was kind of traumatic, but I'm very happy with the outcome. <laughs> And I hope you get that contract re-extension. Alright, so I'm going to put this one off to the side. And I think I'm going to get their non-album stuff so we could do that one too. Sorry if I ramble a lot. I just, I just think of something to talk about and I just can't stop. Alright, so this binder. Here's the thing. I only use Meow Cafe sleeves, right? I don't like using like the other ones, like the generic ones, because they have PVC most of the time. And I really want my photo cards to get ruined. So the original like thingy this came with was like closer together. And so you can only use specific sleeves for oh I mean pages, but um that wasn't working out for me. And so I got my dad to just kind of rip a hole in it. And then I put this spare one I have. So if it looks a little bit ugly, just try to ignore it. <laughs> For this one, I don't use, like, binder sleeves, or about binder fillers, like the other pages, the other collections, because I think I like more how it looks plain. But, um, yeah, this is what I have for their non-album. And then, so, let me get some more pages, and then we can finish this one. So today I'm going to be putting away, I have like quite a bit actually of their season screening stuff on the way. Um, if I could pick this photo card up. Oh my gosh. Okay. And so I'm going to put these together on one page and then actually, no, yeah, I think I'll keep them on one page. Maybe these. No, yeah, I think I'll keep these two on one page. Because I have the usual one on the way, actually. I just need to find the humble version of this one. 
So let me just put them, like I was doing before, you know, diagonal. I have season's greetings on the way, like a bunch of photocards for this. So that's like, it's like four of these season's greetings photocards. So it's like eight, so that's like two sides of the page. And then I'm going to put the light stick with the fan club I have on the way. Pretty sure this came out before this, but I still kind of want to put season's greetings first. So I'm probably going to do that and then I'll suffer any consequences later. Um, let me get my little binder pages out. So these are the double-sided ones I have. They're also from Rio Cafe. Um, everything basically is from Rio Cafe, except for the binders. Um, yeah, two pages. And then so let me just put those in and then we'll save and put these away. Start with the decon ones. So cute. The thing is, I really like the backs of photo cards, but for but for like some collections, I like way more how they would look with um like the little background thingies I have. So that's why, like for this collection, I don't really mind or like my app collection. I kind of like having the backs clear because I feel like it matches more with like the binder and everything. But for like my two um, pink binders and even my pink fuzzy one, I think it looks nicer with binder sleeves in the background. It might have to do with like the fact that they're pink. <laughs> and so I feel like the colorful pink binder fillers look better compared to um, this binder, for example, that's like white or my other binder that's clear. I feel like it doesn't really match as well. Do 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 do. <laughs> I love my silly little collections. Oh my gosh. You know what? One of the questions I got on my little Ask Me Anything I posted was what made you want to start collecting? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to answer that because I kind of ran out of things to talk about in my head. Um, What made me want to start collecting, I think, was honestly just. um, I like spending money. <laughs> I have like a bunch of little, I love collecting things basically, like when I was a bit younger, I liked collecting um, American Girl dolls, those are really expensive dolls, so obviously I didn't actually have that many, but whenever I could, I would beg for another one, because I liked how pretty they looked, I liked like every, how like nice and cute their outfits looked, so I was obsessed with them, or also even just like keychains, I have a really big keychain collection actually. Cause I love collecting like little trinkets, like anything tiny, like Sunny Angels, that was an addiction for a while. And then also just like in general, any mini figures, like any gotcha stuff or like blind boxes, I'm addicted to those. And so when I became like a little K-pop fan in, um, I was it 2019 and I started buying the albums. I actually started, what's it called? Collecting albums, like for BTS and everything. I tried to collect as many um, albums as I could. Oh, that's the big sleep. Um, as many albums as I could. And then when I found out about like photo card trading and everything, I basically begged my parents to let me start trading. But I was like, um how old was I? <laughs> let me do the math. Um, I was I think um thirteen or twelve and so my parents were like, Well, you know, internet safety is don't expose your address online. And so I had a P.O. box for a while, and that's how I traded, signed my little account and everything. And then I kind of got out of it for a while, just because I kind of, not lost interest, but like, I kind of was like, hmm, let me not spend that much money on K-pop and stuff. And so I kind of abandoned that for a little bit. And then Boys Planet started, and I got obsessed again. And so, thank you, Boys Planet bringing me back into my photo card collection oh my gosh but now i feel like pro order benefits weren't a thing when i was a k-pop stan but like they barely were a thing like when i started and like when i was first collecting and then i came back and all of a sudden there's like pre order benefits from websites and i'm like what's going on here i have zero idea 
yeah, I think I'm gonna make this one more time. Just cause, I don't know, I want all my little season screenings to be like this. And so that means I'm gonna have a sacrifice not putting these in chronological order. I am gonna put this one here. So the ones I'm looking for are the basic season screenings one, like the ones that came with the season screenings. And then also um, I'm looking for the mood light photo cards. I think it's Apple Music, maybe. And then the egg snow shop POVs. I have huge snow shop. The thing is that I have it in like a little photo card holder and it looks so cute on my desk and so I don't want to take him out. But if I can't find a dupe, I'll probably just do that. So let's put this one on this side. I think... Oh, actually, hand wrinkles on top here. Okay. So, wait a minute. So this one is right. He would go on the bottom. Here. And then you just should go on the bottom as well. Okay, so that's settled. Um, now I'm going to tie this up. And we can start with I. Alright, okay, someone might take a while because, like I said, I took out all my Lisa photo cards from my binder because I'd had them like single sleeved and whatever with like the generic brand of sleeves, and I wanted to put them in my Meow Cafe stuff that I got today. And so, yeah, this might take a little bit. I think it's about 70 photo cards. No, I think it's about 50 POB, so I have to put away in the binder. And then I have a bunch of miscellaneous ones from like that I don't know what to do with. And so I think I'm actually going to put these um, miscellaneous ones in a little collect book. As you can see, it's quite a bit, but I have no idea how to categorize them because I like having like them in sections. That's going to get a little bit difficult after a while. So I decided that for now, we're just going to put them in a mini collect book and just hope they all fit. <laughs> so... These are all my photo cards. These are right, so. These are the knife. What are these little things are called? <laughs> Trust me, I love. Them. I have a sort of plushie, and I don't want to say her name because I'm really saying I don't know if I've ever heard it said out loud, and I have no idea if that's how you say it. So I'm just giving that. But, um, yeah. I have these are the little benefits. This is from the first season's greetings. The second one, and then these are little POVs for the season greetings. This is the one from this year, and then this is a little POV. This is the first fan club um, benefit, second fan club one. This one is Papa John's photo cards. Um, so I'm not really supporting any of the future, like Papa John's or stuff like that stuff. But this is all pre boycott. And Um, I probably won't be buying, even resell, any of their future ones. So, um, just in case anybody was curious. But, um, yeah. And then, so, this is, like, their little corn silk tea collab. No idea what that was about. This is from their summer package. Pretty sure this is a POV for their, um, prom queens DVD thingy. Some training cards, I believe. And then these are also training cards from their newest concert. Okay. Right. So glad I brought up the newest concert. <laughs> um, I actually had the privilege of going to their last concert. I'm just gonna look me collect book. I had the privilege of going to their last concert, and oh my goodness, it was so life changing. It was like actually life changing. I love that concert so much. I had barricade actually. Maybe I'll insert a clip. I'm not sure yet, but um, Lisa. And all the girls are honestly such good performers. It was so crazy seeing that live. Um, I felt like I was going to just straight up die at some point. But I didn't. I'm alive now. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where I was going to put this. But I think I'm just going to put this. Um, this is from their Japanese album. Just like behind the knives. Because I want this one to be the cover. Um, but yeah. They were such good performers. And I was so obsessed and everything like whoa <laughs> um yeah so maybe i'll insert some clips on the side here which is why i'm trying to move this 
here a little bit awkwardly but um i they're really such sweet girls they're like such good performers like you can tell they really love each other because at one point you just started crying and then lisa you know all the girls are hugging her and then at one point lisa um <laughs> Um, in her little speech that she was doing, she mentioned how much she loved Eugene and everything, like how much Eugene struggles and like how they admire her and everything. And it was so sweet. Like I love my hips. <laughs> um, and their performance, like their duo performance, was so good. I was screaming. I was going crazy. I love that concert so much. It was like one of the best experiences of my life, I think, so far. Um, but yeah, let me try to keep this straight because I wasn't really looking. When I was putting my little photo cards in, but um, yeah. Love I love Eugene will forever be a dive. I'm so glad Eugene and Wan Young redebuted. I felt like I was gonna starve without them. I felt like I was in a drought. They're like my water, and I was just dying every time that people would rumor that they were gonna redebut, and then there was no actual news, and the little profiles came out, and I was going crazy. This photo card is so cute. Actually, I want to show up the back of this one. Isn't that adorable? I love how pink it is. <laughs> the second dive in club one. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Papa John's ones. I like when their photo cards are like PVC. I don't know, I find it like so satisfying. Because it's like credit card material. That's why I really love Lucky Jaws because they feel so nice and like, you know, sturdy. <laughs> um, but yeah. Not sure if I'm gonna have enough room to place all of these. I hope so. I gave up on putting these in normally. I'm just gonna give a nice tour at the end. Very big apologies. We do have enough space. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna put this. Oh yeah, we'll put this on this side. I'm gonna make this the last page actually. This one, my friend actually got at the concert. I got there too late to try to get the photo card packs. But my friend got one and she ended up getting Lisa. And so I was like, can I buy it? And she was like, sure. And then so now I have Lisa. So happy. Um, okay, so. Oh, did I skip one? It did skip one. Oh. Okay, so. I think I'm just going to put Papa John's one up. And then. move the other ones up as well dang but these are all food related so it made sense hold on no, i'm gonna take these out i'm gonna put in the um little summer package ones so that they're like together you know like a nice little layout Other one. Okay. And then it's like, oh. I did this the wrong way again. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna put it. I'm so confused. Where was I? Okay, right. here. And then we're gonna take this one out. And then we're gonna put this one here and then we're gonna put Papa John's one 
back here. And then we're just going to move the other ones up. Oops, sorry. You must be getting a bit dizzy. <laughs> I just keep on bumping into my little tripod. Fun fact, I stole this tripod from my papa. Um, yeah, so... My dad's probably been looking for this tripod, and I found it underneath my desk, and so it's mine now. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, okay. My little nail, my little bow, my nail keeps on getting stuck when I try to get my hand out. Alright. Yujin and Lisa. I hope to get the. I think there's. Pro oh. Wan Yu and Lisa. I hope to get the. Um, I think there's a Lisa and Yujin one. So I hope to get that one soon. And put it on the other side. <laughs> okay, so finally, let's, oh, this is a little bit bad. <laughs> okay, so Minaif, Minaif, Japanese. I guess this is Japanese, like the 11, 11 Japanese version of them, I think. Season's greetings, first one. I think it's called like a ray of sunshine. This one, oh, I totally forgot what it's called. Um, this one, little POVs. This one's a fairy's wish, and then the little POV. I'm looking to get the one where like she's biting the heart, and then the one where she's holding flowers too. Um, summer package. First dive fan club recruitment. Second dive fan club recruitment. Papa John's. Um, corn silk tea, I think. And then these are just, I'm pretty sure, trading cards from Prom Queens. And then little POV. Um, duo trading cards. This is from like the Korean, or well, like, I think this one started in Malaysia. But like before those the stops, I'll have these little cards and I'm missing some of them. But hopefully I'll buy them soon. Then, yay! Now we're just going to put this back where it was over here. Alright. Um, I think we should- Hi, hello, I'm back. Um, I think I'm gonna do Lisa, finish up that collection, just because, um, you know, we just did Lisa Miscellaneous. Ugh, my desk is so scuffed up. Um, but these are all the POVs, so it's like a big chunk of that for this miscellaneous. There's not as many POVs as I thought there would be, like, as much stuff to put away. Um, yeah, so let me grab that binder. Let me just move Eugen out of the way. Um, okay. So this is the binder I'm currently using for Liso. So cute. I love this one so much. It's so fluffy. Um, but yeah. So these, um, I added this one as well since I have a lot of stuff in here. I just don't want the pages to get all messed up. I'll probably decorate the covers of this one and the Virgin and Hanbin one soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so I already have some pages in here. I actually put in my um, postcards and whatnot. Probably gonna separate these soon, but I really like the Prom Queens one. And then Season's Greetings. And this is the second fan club one. I'm gonna just try to make it so it's always tilted. Oh, okay, that works. And then there won't be as much glare. Alright, okay. So, for Lisa, this is what I have so far. I'm just gonna take out this full stack. Um, one of the questions I got was how many Lisa photo cards I got. And um, I'm pretty sure I have about 70, 80 with that one and my album photo cards. I think this is about um, 60 last time I checked, but yeah. So the thing is that even though I'm trying to collect all our photo cards, I'm not really sure that'll happen anytime soon because um, like for example, these ones from 11 era are like pretty expensive. Like this Soundwave one or this um, 
these two sandwich ones are always so expensive and this makes their one cute and everyone i have this drama whenever i try to find them and so i don't have much faith that it's gonna happen anytime soon and the thing is i don't usually separate for future photo cards since i like to put them like um in the order of like the outfits that they go in and so to be honest i'm probably only gonna save one slot because i honestly only think i'm gonna be able to get like maybe one more photo card from any of these eras from 11 era so i'm only gonna save one spot for it and then same thing with like um these other ones i actually recently got this one for after like i mean for love dive i'm not too confident that i'll be able to get many of these maybe like two of them like maybe this one and this one not this one and this one seem likely at the moment not really the rest of them so yeah let me grab my photo cards and start seeing how I want to lay them out. So at the moment, I'm considering this layout. I don't really like using selfie concept cards or well, concept cards instead of selfies, but I think that kind of matches. And so I think I'm gonna have those together. Actually, I have this shoppy one on the way, and I think I'm gonna put that one here because I'm pretty sure it's the same kind of like strap on the outfit. Because I'm pretty sure these are the same outfit. And if this one has a strap, it's the same outfit as this one. So that one matches with this one. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just leave that little space blank for when that photo card arrives. And then on the other page, I'll probably put these two together. This might be like a little bit off topic, but I feel like there's a lot of people who are starting to buy us Issa now. Like, I feel like when I started collecting her, not many people buy us her, and so it was like really, really easy to find trades and stuff like that, or like to buy her photo cards for like pretty low prices. But I feel like she's becoming more popular, and so I'm kind of really happy about that because I love that other people love Lisa because you know she's so cute and everything, and I just want her to be popular. It made me kind of sad that nobody really collected her but at the same time not striving up prices <laughs> and so i would like to kindly ask that people since the world clearly revolves around me that <laughs> people um refrain from buying these up until i finish my collection so like give me a year <laughs> and then you can the rest of you can start collecting her too it's so annoying when you find a photo card for such a good price especially for like um so you're so much like, like their POVs sometimes are a little bit pricier, especially Hanbin. And Yujin too. Yujin from Zero Waste. I feel like he's becoming more popular. I swear he wasn't this popular before. And now when I try to buy four coins, they're more expensive. And it's like dang. So sad for me. Anyways, back to what I was getting at. Um yeah, I'm really happy that Lisa's getting more fans and that she's getting more collectors. Because she really does deserve the world. She's so cute and so sweet and I love her so much. Okay, so let's finish sleeving these. Let me see what I'm gonna do with these actually. <laughs> The thing is, I have some of these 
after like ones on the way like specifically i have these ones i mean yeah after like yeah and so i'm trying to figure out how i want to sort them after this um so i think these two i already have and i'm honestly i don't know why i have that shaded out i don't have that one but i'm gonna try to get these two and so i think i'm gonna leave space for those <laughs> Decisions, decisions, decisions. Alright, well, for now, I'm just gonna put these two together on top. And then, I think I'm gonna put these two on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put these two on the top and then just hope I find two more for the other and put them on the bottom. Oh no, because I have this one on the way. This love dive one. So I think I'm gonna maybe put that one here just because it doesn't have any more outfits. Like it's just that PUE that's in that outfit specifically. So I think I'd rather put that one here along with just like some random one. And then I'll put these that have the same outfit together. So it's like a little bit more cohesive, you know? Wrong size again. <laughs> okay. So do 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 Okay, so I'm going to put these two on top. Oh, that one got stuck for a second. And then I'm going to put these two on the bottom. Actually, let's jump ahead a little bit. Um, this little spread, I was specifically I wanted to look. And so I feel like the best way to do this is to figure out if these go there how to organize the rest of it and so <laughs> the ones that i want to put here are these are the other ones that come before it but i want to put these two um what are these these are beat road pubes for after link and i affectionately like to call them awkward easels um, because she looks so cute, but she's like a little bit awkward, but like in the most adorable way. I'm so obsessed with this photo card. I really hope to fill out a whole page of these. <laughs> um, but on the other side, I'd like to have these photo cards since they're my favorite as well. And so this is kind of like the layout I want to have. I want to have two, I want to have this whole page of awkward Lisa's and these photo cards. You know, like all my favorite photo cards together. And so I think I'm just gonna put them away right now. And then so that way um, I know how to organize the ones that come before it. Okay, okay. So this one is, what photo card is this? This is the Lucky Draw, I believe. This is the, oh, these two are part of the same set. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't really know some of these by name. Some of these, they're just, Lucky draws their POVs and then from there I don't really know. But um these are from the same set apparently. Like one little polo that I'm missing. I don't actively collect the concepts or anything just because they're not my favorite type of photo card. But um for example for the concepts I have 
like for the 11 one it came with another photo card like i bought it in a set so i was like might as well might as well you know keep it um same thing with this one this one came with i believe this photo card these two came together i believe and so when i bought them as a set i was like yeah you know what? i'll just keep it like that so yeah that's how my mind operates when it comes to this in case you were curious um and so i love this one so much i think this is Nyani? I have no idea how to say that, but everybody loves these photo cards, I think. I also even have the Eugen version of it, but I keep my Eugen POVs in a little separate um, mini collect book because I thought like it's gonna be way too hard <laughs> to just collect um, Liso and Eugen, especially because there's so many POVs. Like, for Zero Waste One, I can kind of justify it because, you know, like I started from the beginning, it's not as expensive to get older errors. But if I try to collect like 11 for each I think I'd literally die. And so that's why I don't do that. Um, I should even show it off real quick. This is my little Eugen POV collection. After like, this is the one that matches with this one. Aren't they cute? And then I have some, um, I think this is Ive Ive. I have mine. And this is like the little collab she did for like little, I think it's called Nepa. It's a clothing brand. Yeah. This is her dive 2.0, her corn silk tea, and then this is her um, summer package one. That's all I got. But trust me, she's also one of my alts. I have her like whole little Eyes One collection or whatever, or like most of her Eyes One. Um, album photo cards and a little binder over there but um yeah so let's put these away did I double sleep these? yes okay so now the awkward ASOS turn to be sleep this is such a cute photo card. I love this photo card so much. If you have this photo card and you want to sell it, sell it to me. Actually, I'm a little bit cheap when I buy stuff like this. I don't like buying for a regular price. I'll stock the market till I find it for like a better price. So, if you're selling this for $10, I accept. More than that, I think I'll have to think it about it a little bit. Think it over. Too big. Okay. Awkward Lisos, we love you so much. Heart. So cute. Okay. In case anybody wanted an update on the time, it's currently 11.22. Oh wait, no, it's not. That's a screenshot I took. Um. Oh no, it is 11.22. Okay, yeah, it will finish before 12 p.m. Or 12 a.m. Hopefully. Um, so yeah. I'll create these toes. Cute little lucky draws. Now we can go back. Okay, so for these, I'm planning on having a whole page. Anyways, okay, for this one, I'm planning on doing an entire page because one of my biggest, like, in search for is this photo card right here. It's the cutest one ever, and I want it so bad, but I don't want to pay, like, $3. I'd pay, like, maybe $20, but, um, I need her so bad, and so I want to have a little space for her, so I just always, you know, remind myself that I need her so bad. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to put these two together, and then I think I'm going to put this one like that. Because it's like a little bit of a darker background than that photo card, so I think it match more with this one rather than the lighter ones. Do -do -do. 
do 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 do. I think the fact that also I usually tend to price my POVs, like any leftover ones whenever I hold group orders, like pretty low. Like um, sometimes around, um, usually around like six to eight dollars. If I'm really desperate, maybe five. But I think because of that, and because they usually sell, because you know, so cheap people want them, um, I feel like I've gotten used to them. I've like tricked myself to thinking that they're that low priced and then so whenever they're more expensive i'm like yeah no thank you no thank you way overpriced when it's actually like a really good reasonable price <laughs> um especially because there's this one group order manager on instagram that i really like and whenever she has leftovers i get them from her and they're always like a super good price and like oh my gosh she's my queen actually really good group order manager I think I'm trying to do like one of her group orders, but still, really good group order manager. Gives me really good deals whenever I buy her leftovers. I think she's like the reason I started collecting Lisa photo cards or like pre order benefits because they were such low prices. And because there's not a lot of Lisa collectors, there'd always be a lot of Lisa leftover. So, thank you so much, Queen, for that. <laughs> um, okay, so spot empty for that beautiful little photo card I'm missing. Um, and for the other ones, I'm currently getting, I have one of these, oh, this one. These are the same outfit, and then I don't think there's another one with this outfit, so I'm thinking about keeping them together. The, then I have another one with this outfit on the way, so I think I'm going to put these, like, these two on top, and then this one on the bottom. So that the outfits match. Do, 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 do. I love cohesiveness. I usually try to put like album outfits or like basically anything that's not stage outfits together. And so that's why I'm gonna try to keep these on this page. Like they all look like, nice and cute together. Because I want to have these on this page, right? But then, if I put like the ones that don't match, like for example, this um, Star River one, like here, like miscellaneous ones that have outfits that don't match, I don't think I would have liked it as much. And so, I decided to do it this way. You know, let's be happy together. Okay, so I think I'm going to put these on the bottom, actually. I kind of don't like how this one's like like a weird color but it's still cute very cute i think it's because maybe it's a pvc one it's like the one that's like hard material so oh maybe that's why wrong one next video i swear i'll film when it's brighter outside and then i won't need this really bad light i have over my desk There we go. I'm trying to make this look nicer because right now you can see all my little mess. So now the only photo card that we have that's here is this one. Um <laughs> we may have a little bit of a problem here because no actually these don't count. Da, 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 da. No, yes we do. I don't know where to put the star river one. Um Okay, so I think I'm gonna fix this by moving these no, these ones, because, yeah, these ones here, and then I'll put these two up here, and then I'm going to put the other live 
I have one that doesn't match. This one. Like the one that says I only have one outfit up. Next to this one. Okay. I like that idea. For now at least. Hopefully I'll get more 11 and left eye photo cards. And then I'll be able to just put another page between these two. And then we'll all be happy. Yay! No, that isn't really okay. Yay! I think I accidentally scratched the inside of this page. It's like a little sad little glare. Anyways, it's okay. Um, so yeah. That's the plan for right now. And then, moving on. Maybe... No, I was gonna say maybe I'll put these two. But like I said, I really want the other photo card, and so I'm gonna leave it like that so it doesn't mess up my layout. Okay, so again, like I said, I like having um album photo card stuff together, and so well, you can notice the one thing in the background that really is just there. Okay, good. Um, these. So this is from I Am. And I would, in fact, like to put the album things together, like music video outfits. So I think I'm going to put this one on top because I kind of really want the, um, thing. Actually, let me see my wish list. Okay, so this is my wish list for, um, I find, I mean, I five, and I have this one on the way, actually. Don't know why I put that one. I have this one on the way. Um, and I feel like it makes sense to put this one here. And then hopefully whenever I get this one here. Just because they're both the same outfit as this one. So I'm probably going to do that. I'll probably click the concept for that reason. And then I'm thinking about putting this little kitsch one down here. Along with, it's like the Starship Square one. But the little kitsch one down here. With the Sanway one. I'll hopefully get those two, and then so I'll put them here and here, and here and there. Okay, good plan, good plan, everyone. I really, the thing is I'm a completionist, but I really don't like buying photo cards that I just don't think are too cute. And so, basically I've told myself that if I really don't like a photo card, I'm just not going to buy it. Which doesn't really work out for Lisa because all of her photo cards are really cute. I don't know if you saw this, but like, she does not have a single bad photo card. Well, not that any of those really do, but like maybe they have one that isn't as cute to me. And so it's easy for me to be like, well, I don't really want that one. It's okay, I'll pass. But this one, it's not possible. It's not, <laughs> they're too cute. So, I'm looking over here on the side on my wish list, trying to see how I'm gonna do the rest of these. And <laughs> I think I want to put these two actually under that one because these ones have like the I am outfit. They're like blue, and I kind of think that those would match the like background of the kitsch ones. So I'm gonna move that one here. Put it on top because Kitch came out before I am. And these are just album photo card versions. Well, this one is an album photo card version. I don't think this one is. I think this was just a stage one. Also, I put the wrong sleeve size in there. Alrighty. So I think I'm gonna do this one there. This one. Um, this also came with the jewel case one. Then I want to put this one here, and then. The other photo book ones up here and then i'm gonna put this um my music taste one because it's the same outfit as the jewel case photo card i think i'm gonna put that down here and then this one's gonna go on another page 
Let's see what fun cards we have left now. So I think I'm going to put that one with this. Um, I feel like these kind of match. That kind of vibe. And I think I'm going to put these two together. Because I feel like these also match. Good plan, good plan, everyone. Okay. We're almost out of sleeves. Okay, so... I feel like these match more with this background, and so I think I'm just gonna put the other pieces there. Sorry, I'm not, I'm kind of not looking at my camera screen, so I have no idea if this is in frame or not. I hope it is though. Sorry if it isn't. Those some of these I have already pre-sleeved from when I had I used to collect um or well. Kind of how like I do Hanbin and Yujin like select POVs, but I have like the matching dual set. I tried to do that with I for a while, which is why some of them are in their binders match and everything. But um I decided to just only get Liso's POVs or like actively collect Liso by herself. And so that's why the rest of these aren't um double sleeved yet, because I got them after I made that decision. Okay, so I think we should put one, two. I feel like that kind of works. What do we think? What do we think? I actually feel like this one works a little bit more. Maybe this, because it's like a little bit more casual. Mm. I think I like this the best. look like this and I feel like they don't quite match this background so I think I'm gonna flip these binder folders over so that the design is this way instead see if that matches way more I feel like that matches way more. Way nicer. I'm still trying to figure out how to make this glare stop. Hold on, maybe if I move the camera a little bit. Well, we're just gonna <laughs> leave it be, I guess, then. <laughs> and we're gonna do that. I just put a little container under here. Okay, that's better. So, um, yeah. I feel like this match is way better. And then, on this side, I think that looks way better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, for this one, I'm honestly planning on just getting this one, and then either one of these. Actually, no. I really want the Star River one. I hope I get it soon. This looks cute. And now we're starting I've mine. Yippee! Alright, so same thing as before. We're gonna try to categorize the matching outfits. So these ones are from the Either Way music video. So I think we should have those together. With this one. And I'm looking for to complete this page, I'm pretty sure there's one other POV 
from either way. Where is it? Oh, this one, the Nama one. I'm hoping to buy that one soon. So that'll be the one that goes right here. Wait, this will be the one that goes right up there. For this one, um, you have to save one since the other two on this page are already saved. start saying where these are from because yeah okay. um you know this is from starship square both of these i'm pretty sure uh this one's apple music this one's beat road this one's Soundwave. this one is what is this one this one is k-town for you I love key draw. This one was a lucky draw in the same batch as this one. Then this one is. I want to say it's like. Maybe. Mixer? This is Big Star. And then let me check. Yeah, it is. Okay. This one's the US exclusive one. Like little POV. And then this one's with Moon. I'm pretty sure this one's with me. Anyways, um, this one is Ketan for you, I'm pretty sure. And so hopefully Nama one, and then that one's full. So next page, we're gonna do off the record. And so, I'm really obsessed with these, um, suit photo cards. I think they're the cutest thing in the world. Um, this one is... Our records um to be honest i'm not really looking to buy any more tar records anymore because i'm pretty sure i think these are post i mean pre-boycott or whatever but yeah for the future comebacks i'm not really gonna try to buy any more tar records um yeah because like for example yura yura the japanese comeback that cb1 had I really love this one, like little Yujin photo card that was like a little gray school uniform with like a little balloon heart. It was so cute. I was so upset to find that with Star Records. So yeah, I'm just not gonna <laughs> refrain from buying any more of those. But this one is double sided, which makes me kind of sad because it kind of gets hidden. So I'm looking to buy a second one so I can have them both like that. And then this one is from... Is this one from? I have no idea. I don't even think I added to my watch this. This is Starship Square. This one's also I'm pretty sure it's Starship Square. Somehow I have three of these. No, I'm only two of these. Don't know how that happened. Probably when I edit this video, I'm gonna realize where they went. But, um, yeah, so, let me get the other packs. Okay, there we go, we're all set now. I technically really need to clarify this. I don't think these were in the off the record music video, but 
but like when i say off the record i mean like the version if that makes sense like um either way right um i don't think these were in the music video i don't remember if this one was in the music video but it might have been but it might have not been but it's in the photo shoot you know what i mean for that album and so that's how i kind of grouped them together inside of my brain Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was the other way around. But either way, I'm pretty sure one of these is only for the photo book. And so this one's the off-the-record version for the photo book. So I think I'm actually going to put that on the other side. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to put those with Batty Action. This one's also off-the-record. There's one more version of this. Like an exact same outfit from Kakao Talk. Cow, 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 cow is how I have it under my wish list, but I'm probably gonna get that one, put it on the other side, and then this one's also off the record, so I'm gonna put this one here, and then hopefully, if I get the Taiwan POB, I'll put that on the other side, and then this one will go here. Well, no, this one will go on top, and then this one will go on the bottom with that one. Okay, sounds like a good plan these away kind of like how these have like well like with the exception of that one have kind of like a green background vibe going on i think it's very cute and i think it'll look really nice once it's complete okay so now on this one we're gonna start putting these away you know what now i'm happy i like that this one goes with that one um we're gonna put this one here this one here and then this one up here. I think I'll the not sleeping one for now. And then I'll probably make the other one. As you know, I feel like because Lisa's doing like a kind of wink, this makes sense for it to be like diagonal from each other. Yes, okay. So put these here trying to make it look more organized which i probably should have done at the beginning of this video not near the end but um yes there we go nice and centered it only took me the entire video um <laughs> but yeah the next one i want to do is this one okay so should we should we not I'm gonna put this for now, because like I said, I really like the other four card from the cacao one. And so I think that for now this is fine. I'll probably change it, you know, eventually when that one arrives. I keep on getting the wrong one. Okay. Right. This one is the class of cards that came with the Starship Square one, the one with the little peace sign on the other side. But they don't have the same outfit, so I don't care. Do, 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 do. There we go. I think on this side, I'm gonna put Batty. Yes. So these two. And then I think on the bottom, I'm just gonna put this one along with this one that I have on the way. It's just like you're doing a little heart, it's really cute. Well, actually, to be honest, if I end up getting another baddie one, I might do that one on this page. And then, because this one's also double sided, you can see like the back prayer and then the front of her. So I might have two of those in order to show both sides. But I think I won't just because right now, like this would look nice, but then it'd be three outfits. Do you have the same outfit um, on one page? If. I do it that way instead of um two because two is kind of like a row but then three it's basically the whole page and it just looks like a little bit awkward that there's just one that doesn't match okay. we're just gonna do 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 and then we're just gonna take a little bit do 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 this okay yay we're happy now wrong way hmm 
<laughs> I'm rethinking my options, and I think I'm just gonna send this a full body paint. I think the ones I'm gonna look for are this Keton for You one, and then this KMS Station one. So I think I am gonna just take this one out and give um, Loved Eye its own page kind of thing. I think that would look best. Okay, and so this side we're gonna put this one up here. And then other side, and then do 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 do. This hold on. <laughs> this outfit looks familiar. I'm pretty sure it's either from the photo book or the music video, but I'm just gonna ignore that because it doesn't fit anywhere. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore that. Um. I think I'm going to put these two together because I feel like they kind of match like, concept-wise. And so, let's do that. They have like a kind of like cozy feeling, you know what I mean? So, I think it makes most sense to have those two together. This photo card though so to be honest if i decide to be crazy enough i might just buy a dupe of it put it to the side and then the two um pubes where she's just like really so it's just doing little heart pose and it's like the front and back of her hair i think i might just put that there one day hopefully hopefully soon separate this one because it's like kind of red you know and then these just kind of make sense to me visually they look nice in my brain so let me actually check what the order so far is order oh yeah because i switched it okay so we're gonna put one page in between here and we're actually gonna add something else there but let me grab that um let me see how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen I think I skipped some as I was going to make these pages to be safe. Because I actually do have some on the way still for my mind. There's a crazy amount of peels necessary. Very, very crazy. Put this one here. And then this one right behind. There we go. As you can see by the fact that they kind of rise up when I don't have it this way. These little binder thingies. Oh wow, that's a fat binder. <laughs> We're very necessary. Um, okay, so let me grab the sleeves. Oh, well, the binder fillers. I'm not saying sleeves, but they're fillers. Um, these are the ones I have in my little drawer there. Um, so we can use four. And then what comes after this one? It's this little bright one. This one, alright, so one, two, three, four. Alright, so that's the last of my open pack for this one. And then down here I have some more sets. The thing is, I bought these and then I didn't realize it until the other day. And so now they just haven't been used. Um, should definitely figure out what I'm gonna do with these. This one's too. I think I'm just gonna skip them for now. Eventually, 
I'll go back and I'll add these. I think actually if I end up getting more POVs, like for love diving or whatever, I'll insert them there. And then, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so this set ended with this color. And then we start with this one. So then, I think I'm going to end this new page with this color. Yeah. I'll throw it somewhere in the middle. I think I'll do, if I get more POVs, it'll probably be like in between here. So I'll probably put this one between this one and this one. And then, I'm on to something here. Not quite sure what, but something for sure. <laughs> Alright, so let's put these in. Oh yeah, that is a good idea. Right? I would think so. Okay, change of plans. Let me grab this. Okay, try to open it. Was successful. Put this here and this. Hold on. I'm struggling a little bit in case you can't tell. Okay. This in here, and then the center for this one is going to be this. I don't really like this one, so I regret kind of buying it, but I do like this one. So let's do. Oh my gosh, I just realized my new dream one. Actually, you know what? I don't really care about cohesiveness on that one. I don't really care about the cohesiveness, cohesiveness on the zero base one, one. But I do kind of care about it for this one. So. Putting it like that, and then putting this away. And, okay. There we go. Eventually, it's looking to me like I'm probably gonna have to do um the same thing I did for Zero Base One, where I have to do another binder for miscellaneous stuff. Because I was planning on eventually putting my things I just put in the little Lisa mini collect book back into this binder. But looking at it now, I don't even think this is going to survive this next comeback. I'm probably going to have to start splitting them up or something or downsizing. Which one do we think matches more? So it's this way. It's kind of hard when you first put them in because they're like really nice fit so sometimes they make that weird noise hopefully i'll lower the volume here there we go and then there we go It's a little bit of a struggle. Sorry. Is this how it was before? How did I have my camera before? Let's hope it was like this. Okay. So sorry for kicking you all. Didn't mean to. Please don't sue me. Alright. Last one. Oh, I'm trying to put it the wrong way. Okay. Put 
that one was so much easier. Okay, so let's move these up one. This may be a struggle. This is also why it's not a good idea to wear fake nails when you're trying to put away your collection. Okay. Maybe this way. With the fake eye. Okay. Dang, I guess I really like this background. Okay. Ready? What? No. Okay. Eventually, this will. Okay. One. This down. Two more to go. Thank goodness. The top ones are way easier to get out compared to the bottom ones. Because you can just kind of eventually get your finger in there. And then these are a bit tougher. Okay. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Was a really awkward clap. Okay, so now time to do this side. Oh, that was easy. <gasps> no, I didn't. I used the wrong pages. <laughs> so we did all of that. Now we have to do it again. Yay for us. Okay. We're not going to talk about that, we're just going to, let's just smile, let's just be happy. Okay. That never happened. I did this right the first time around. That means we just have to take out this one. Never happened. Whoa. Okay. Now, to do that again, maybe we could try to put them in at once. I don't think that will work actually, but let me put these away. And last one. Okay. This one goes down here. This one goes up here. And then this one goes here. We did it. Wasn't that so easy? We definitely got it the first try. Now, let's put this one here. And this one here. I won't put it this way then. Because, like I said, the wink, it's important the wink lines up with the sleeping one. And then, last one, peace sign. We did it, guys. We did it. I'm just gonna readjust the angle. Somehow, I think that's worse. My sincerest apologies. Okay, so now this one goes with Batty, and I feel like that kind of matches the concept, you know? So let's take these out. 
this one here. Let's take these out too while we can. Okay. And then let's go on a roll. Oh. Where am I? Oh, I was grabbing the wrong thing. Okay. Yippee! So now this one goes up here. The other two baddies will go down there. And then these photo cards go here. Okay. And now we need to put some of these away. I think I put away the other three I got for this actually, so I'll just take them out of my little drawer. Continue trying. I feel like this one matches this more. So I want to put these there. I think these would go nicely there. Along with this one. Let me recheck my wish list real quick. Okay, so here we have. I'm trying to see which ones would kind of match this in like aesthetics and I think that if I get this one I'd put it on the same page here and then yeah okay so these go together This is the same size. <laughs> okay. Awkward. Okay, now I think on this side should be the thing is I have <laughs> I feel like this one would go well with um this Sunray one and then this Sunray Thailand one I feel like those kind of match but I'm not sure what the third one I think would be mm, I don't really want that Tower Records one though I should remove that from my wish list. Um, maybe this one would go well with hmm. 
Maybe the KMS one, I have. those are kind of like fancier outfits. This is the KMS one, as you can tell, really not the best fit, but I think it'll work out. This one, I think I'm gonna go with these two. Maybe, possibly. And then, I feel like these four kind of go together. Maybe not as much as this one, but I feel like these top two definitely do. Like these two, I don't know, they kind of give the same vibe. So I think we'll put these four together, maybe there. <laughs> I feel like this would go nicer with the darker theme. I'm just gonna put these here and then these here and then dang I ran out of room <laughs> these here I think these match better on the back no the ones that would match better on the back are definitely I decided I made the executive decision. These go here. The darker ones are gonna go on this side when I get my next, when I add the other page. And then, yes, okay. Let's start sleeving these. I'm a little bit disorganized, if you can't tell. <laughs> I have my photo cards here looking a little bit crazy. But, I hope this is still somewhat enjoyable. Hmm, okay, so. I think it might fit better on this side, actually. So that's how we're gonna put them. No, they do match better on the other side. Uh, this is complicated. Okay. I think I like these more when they're diagonal because they have like a little theme going on, like this one's Christmas. And this was like Little Red Riding Hood or like Snow White. So I think that matches better. So I think I like it like this the best. And then going back to the side, we're gonna put one, two, three. And then yes, okay. 
I'm happy with that. Yes, yes, yes. actually but I think I'll just put them away on one side. I'm just putting these away. This one doesn't really quite match, but I'm not sure where I would put it instead. Maybe here. Probably there. Because the thing is, I have this photo card that's just kind of random to me. It's um just Lisa with like this little puff and this little green hat. And I was thinking of putting that there because I feel like that in a weird way kind of matches. Because these are like brighter, lighter colors, maybe. But <laughs> I think for now I'm just gonna put this one right here. I'll figure that one out later. And then this side we're gonna put one, two, three, four. Sorry, I went kind of silent. I just kind of started thinking about how many photo cards I'm missing. <laughs> I'm just glad that even though I'm trying to collect all of them, it's not that I really need all of them. It's just that, like, if it's possible, I'd like to. And I'm really seeing how fat this binder is getting because I double sleeved. I mean, I have the majority of them in the binder, right? But because when they get double sleeved, they just become, like, that much more thick. Maybe I'll eventually have to resort to single sleeving because it's a little bit, it's like a tiny bit ridiculous. So after this design, oh, is this the missing skinny one? I think it is, okay. Um, instead of... Post this one is this one. Let's grab those sleeves out again. Four.
wrong side. Okay, there we go. This is the Lisa collection done of today. Oh, wow, so many photo cards. Okay, so starting from the very beginning, um, this is Eleven Era. Um, Eleven Love Dive. Here we start After Like. Sorry. <laughs> after Like. Oh, maybe I should say the names, right? For anybody who was curious, this is the. Um, I think I'm gonna the first press of the film. It wasn't like a but it was only the first press of the picture. This is the Starship Square Philippines. This one is K Town for You. This one is Everline. Oh, sorry. Okay. This one is Starship Square. And then this one is K Town for You. Moving up to here, we have um, Soundwave 1.0 and then K Town for You. This is Star Driver for Afterlink. This one is K Town for You as well. This one is Band something something. Band Dean. I think that's actually. And this one appears Starship Square. Um, this one is also Starship Square. And then this one is with me. Over here we have Beat Road. Oh, really, so we love you. Um, here we have Lucky Drawn. I think I said before this one was a another one. This one is Nyanji. Nyanji. Um, this one is Sammy Lucky Drawn along with. Where did I put her like, Sammy Lucky Drawn. Nyanji. Um, this one might be with me. I'm pretty sure. With the Lucky Drawn Police. This one is Starship Square with you. And I think this one is also Starship Square. Um, this one is Apple Music. And this one is Beat Road. This one is Sammy. This one is. Okay, for you. This one is also a part of the um Sammy Lucky Drop. This one is Apple Music, maybe? Or with Mill? Well, um, this one is Mixer. You have two ideas. Um, this one is Kate for you. With Mill, the US exclusive. This one, I think it is oh, Sammy. Uh, this one is Starship Square. And then this one is Sammy Lucky Drop. This one is Starship Square. And this one is Tower. This one is Starship Square. And this is also Starship Square. I'm pretty sure. And then following that up, this Abby PC is from Starship Square. I think it's also Starship Square. This one is Ario Stage. This one's a Lucky Draw. I think it's. I'm telling you, 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 I'm
So these are the I've um OT6 sets I have so far. I mean, I guess they're OT4 because I only put four members in this binder. But I do have like the other two members, like Lisa and Eugene's photo card for this. For these, like in my, you know, Lisa and Eugene collection. So I'm removing these two just because I like to put away, I mean, these four, I guess. This Eugene, I have some miscellaneous photo cards that I don't collect. Haven't been in Eugene for. But I just still like to keep them around, so they're just staying there for now. I'll probably get the, another mini little collect book and put them all in there. But I like to put away my full sets, so these are going to go back in here just because I haven't gotten all the photo cards yet. So, so far, I have a set of Afterlight, and then a set of I've I've. And then three sets of I've mine. This is what we're gonna work on putting away today. Um, yeah, so let me open my binder. I totally at one point just kind of forgot that I was gonna do the whole question thing. So I guess we could start to do that now. <laughs> just because I feel like you'll ask people to you know, ask me questions, and some people did. So I kind of don't want to just ignore the fact. Like, I appreciate it a lot. So do that um actually i think for the first page once i get 11 i think i'll like how it looks because it's you know like a little black outfit concept but i don't really want this to be the first page i think we're going to start with i5 and then we'll go from there this photo card set is so cute i love their little outfits like that's such a cute photo card like, isn't that so beautiful? Right. So, photo card sleeves, do do do. My voice gets even weirder in the morning. Also, sorry that my voice volume keeps on changing. I'm pretty sure at one point I was basically just doing ASMR last night. Um, it's just that, you know, my parents are sleeping and then they don't want to wake them up. And then sometimes I forget I didn't want to wake them up. And so my voice would get louder. <laughs> this is like my more regular tone of voice, I would say. Okay, so, hmm, wrong sleeve. Um, hold on, okay. So, some of the questions I got, there's just a little mini Q&A session, I guess, you know. Um, do I have another hobby outside of collecting? No. <laughs> I'm a pretty boring person, I think. So, you know the fact that I tried to sleeve that twice with the same size sleeve? Anyways. Um, I'm a pretty boring person. I don't have any hobbies just because of school. And I feel like that makes me sound like I'm this really, really good scholar. But no, this is definitely a waste of time for me. Um, let's just say it's affected school a little bit. I'm still fine though. It's okay. Trust. This next trimester grade is going to go so, so up. Anyways. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a waste of time for me. But it's like a nice little hobby. My parents aren't against it or anything. They're like, well, at least it's better than doing other things that people your age do. And I'm like, well, yes, you're right. So, my parents are supportive and everything. Collecting is really my only hobby. Um, can you call watching K-dramas a hobby? If so, then I guess that's also a hobby of mine. Um, I don't watch them as often because since I have to read the subtitles, I can't really multitask. And what I usually do, like, if I wasn't filming this video, I would have had my little YouTube um up and then i probably would have been just watching that while i put everything away or watching um so i have a show i'm really into video essays actually i like watching literally just about anything even if it's something i know nothing about if it's a video longer than an hour i'm in i'm hooked i love it i just like i really like the oh, wi-fi don't see this one i really like long content like content that i should just space out and just keep on watching <laughs> so yeah this question like finance at freddy's i didn't ever actually play finance at freddy's but i did love the videos about it i still do so like that basically um so i discovered k-pop that's one of the other questions um because of my cousin person almost cousin basically she was a really big army at the time <laughs> And I didn't really see the point of it 
And I was like, well, she's getting a little bit crazy. So I didn't really quite see the point of why until, um, because I watched the Idol music video. Nothing against Idol. I like the song, but the music video kind of scared me off because of how bright it was. Um, but then I got a recommendation, like my YouTube recommendation, to listen to Airplane Part 2. And whoa, that is such a good song. I love that song so much. Changed my life. Um, so yeah, thank you, BTS. Uh, and to that, and the thing is that when I find something I like, I'll literally just go, I think I may go a little bit overboard. I cannot pick this up, man. We're just gonna slide it to the edge of the table. Um, I go a little bit overboard on my interests, and so I just like immediately started begging my dad to buy me albums. I think I went to my first K-pop concert literally just a couple of months after. I became an army in like 2019, um, January, and then I went to my first K-pop concert, which was MetLife. Um, when was that May? So just like a couple of months after, I just went to my first K-pop concert. And that was so emotional for me. Like, I was actually crying. <laughs> um, I was also like, how old was I saying that teen? I was like, um, well, right now I'm 17. So, 17 minus 5. That was 12. Not too much on me. Um, <laughs> I really love them a lot. I mean, I, st I feel like I still like BTS. I still love them a lot, but I don't really keep up with them anymore. Um, is it, like I said before, I'm more of a girl group stand, but they have really good music, so. Um, since then I've gone to a couple more concerts. I've gone to Stray Kids. I used to be really big stay. Not really as much. I don't have anything against them. It's just kind of, I think, I became more of a girl group stand, and so I don't really listen to the music anymore. Um, I also went to Twice. Ooh, there's like a big pocket of air. I also went to Twice recently. Well, not that recent, but it was like July, last July in my life, too. So that was really fun. And then, apart from that, the last K-pop concert I went to was probably um, just Ive. Last time they came, um, like literally just two weeks ago fish. It was so much fun. That was like my first concert. I was usually at nosebleeds, and so that was my first concert up close, and it was so exciting exciting i was i was going crazy i was actually screaming so loud and and that was like probably my favorite concert experience so far just because that one was so up close and maybe lisa didn't notice me but in my head she did she kept on looking in my general direction in my head that was all for me so you know perhaps a little bit delusional but i choose to be happy instead of <laughs> a realist so Um, one of the other questions, I hate Lisa for a car was, um, uh, awkward Lisa, we kind of went over that, but she's so cute, that little just, oh, I put these in the wrong order, that little angle is just so cute, like, I just love how, it just kind of always reminds me about how Lisa said, was it Lisa? I'm pretty sure it was Lisa, maybe it was a fake tweet, I don't know, but it was like, about how Lisa had once said that she thinks the way to make yourself feel like the cutest is to put your um forehead all up the camera make your photo make your forehead look bigger and i found that so endearing and then so that's why offer this is my favorite because her forehead's so cute and big in that photo isn't it nice like how they match on the back like that's so satisfying but right, i'm continuing on um, my my favorite K drama at the moment is Queen of Tears. It's like really really good. Um, I like it a lot actually. I just kind of love any K drama that's like mildly funny, even just like a little bit of funniness. If it has me giggling, I love it. And they're just so cute. And I hope she gets cured. I hope she doesn't die. She probably won't die, but I'm still scared. What if they make this a bad ending? And then, because I don't know if you watched 2521, that K drama ruined me. Because why did they die? They didn't die. <laughs> what am I talking about? Why did they not end up together? Like, I was so upset. 
I was believing all the conspiracy theories. Like, on the time on Twitter, there was, like, a, pe a conspiracy theory. They're like, oh, he changed his name. And then, so that's why it doesn't people don't know they're married, because they're hiding it. And I was like, yep, yeah, totally. That makes so much sense. Only for them to not end up together. And that was actually the first and worst heartbreak I've had with the K-drama. Never again. I cannot rewatch it. Every time I get, like, an edit of them on my For You page on TikTok, I just start, I just want to cry. Because... <laughs> They were so cute, and then they didn't end up together, and then I was just miserable. I don't even want to talk about it. Okay. Um, what other K-pop groups do I listen to? I keep putting these in the big sleeve. Okay, the thing is, I listen to a lot of K-pop groups. I just don't collect them. On my playlist, um, well, I don't really listen to Luna anymore because of the boycott, and I'm a little bit lazy to listen to local files, so if I listen to Luna, it's on a, a CD. But besides that, I also um, listen to um, some WJSN. I really love their B-sides. I also listen to, you know, like, I feel like I'm basic. You know, I listen to um, New Jeans. Or I did more before because I boycott and whatnot. I've tried to stick to it. I'm not really sure. Um, I've tried to stick to it. I'm not that strict with it, though. Because, um, yeah. But, for the most part, I try to. And so, because of that, I haven't listened to any high group in a while, I did really, I did tune into the debut of Illit, though. Just streamed it once on Spotify in order to figure out what that was about. And, whoa, that was such a good album. I love Illit's Magnetic. I also really love their, um, besides the Lucky Girl Syndrome. I don't know how I feel about the rest of the song, but I really love the intro. The intro is really, really good. I wish the whole song was just the intro. Really good song. Anyways, I also really liked TWS, their debut. It was, like, really, really good. I was so obsessed. Like, they really saved K-pop. I say that, but it's not, like, in a serious way. It's, like, in a joking way. Don't, <laughs> don't get mad at me, please. I always have this bad habit of just saying, this is real music. This is real something. This is real food. This is real literature. And so, yeah. I don't, I don't actually think it's, like, the... I don't think it's like um everything else is bad i just think that's really good and that's the best way for me to express that something's really good is being like oh my gosh this is, this. This is so amazing this is life-changing so yeah please forgive me <laughs> i don't mean any harm okay, we're speeding up a little bit because it's currently 6 58 and i am not i do not have my shoes on do not have my backpack on this might end badly. Let's hope I don't miss the bus again because I actually missed it two days ago. And then I stayed home and then I got in trouble. So, um, my favorite song right now, I think I mentioned the one for ZB1 at the moment, is um, Melting Point. But my favorite song at the moment for Ive is mine. Like, that is such a good song. Like, Wan Young really knew what she was doing when she was writing those lyrics. Like, Truly life changing. Everything she does is life changing. I love you, Wanya. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's basically, all the questions because, like I said, I kind of ask these. I kind of ask for questions like a while before, and I feel like people don't really interact whenever you post stories, especially because like on the account that I posted this on, I don't have that many followers. But like, not in a bad way. You know what I mean? Like, um, I think it's probably a little bit awkward to interact with somebody you don't really know that. Well. So, I appreciate the people who did ask me questions. And so, now that we're done with that, we just need to finish putting these pieces away. I really love this one. I really love this one, too. My little dimple is so adorable. This is so adorable. Everybody in Ive is so pretty. It's like, wow, Starship really hit the jackpot when they were recruiting. They're also so talented, too. They have such good singers. I love Ive so much. Their whole discography drives me crazy. I love them so much. Ive, we love you. <laughs> They're so pretty IRL. They're also so tall in real life. I felt like I was gonna... I just felt so tiny. I'm 5'2". I don't think I'm that short. Well, actually, no. 5'2 is apparently short in comparison to the rest of the country. But, like, what's it called? All my family members are, like, pretty short low-key. And so I'm one of the tallest that is 5'2", like, within all the girls from my family. And so I was, like, pretty shocked that they look so tall. They look so... So, like tall and it was so shocking because i'm telling you the tallest person i know 
it's like, well, I do know somebody that's 5'7", but still, I didn't realize that I were 5'7", and like around there, so that was kind of crazy for me. Anyways, quick flip through before I leave, because it's 7 a.m. now. Um, this is I have mine. I I mean, after like, I have my, let's go back, that was wrong. This is I have I, this is after like. I have mine, I have mine, and I have mine. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it a lot. And I know this video was super duper long, but I hope you could put it in like in the background or something while you're doing something else. Cause that's what I used to do when I used to be obsessed with these kind of videos. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a good day. Bye.